Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, feels good being back here on YouTube. At this current moment, I officially have 29 subscribers. Um, thank you to the people that, you know, said welcome back, shit like this. I appreciate it, you know what I mean. Close my other channel. I had over 5,000 subs. Um, and now I have 29. It's not close to 5,000. Not close to 100. Hell, it ain't even 30. Motherfuckers. <laughs> but 29 subs is a good thing. No matter which fucking way you want to spin it. And I'll tell you why real quick there. When I, I was sitting at home the past couple weeks without my YouTube and I missed something. I miss my loyal subscribers, of course, there. I also missed voicing my opinion. Was thinking about it, couldn't imagine not being able to voice my opinion. You know what I mean? So 29 subs, it isn't half a billion like PewDiePie or whatever the fuck. It's not anything big. But it gives me the ability to voice my motherfucking opinion. And you're there to listen to that opinion. And for that, I thank you very much. You know what I'm saying? Cedric rants and news. I'll be able to voice my opinion until until I'm dead, motherfuckers. If I keep talking about wrestling another ten years, I'd be in my forties talking wrestling. It would look silly. It really would. But with a page like this talking about normal subjects, I can talk about shit. For another fucking 30 years, knock on wood, if I'm not dead before that, you know what I mean? So 29 subs, it ain't that big, but it, it's big for me, dog, because I get to voice my opinion once again, so thank you very much. Now, one thing that I really wanted to talk about, didn't get a chance to because I closed my channel. One of the most disgusting things that I've seen recently. The Hillary Clinton supporters slash Trump haters going full fucking retard in the U.S. Because the election didn't go the way that they wanted it to go. You know what I'm saying? Over here in Canada, it's the liberals and the conservatives. Okay, I voted in the past, didn't get the vote that I wanted. I never went out. Hey, hey, look at me, I'm pissed off. Hey, look at me, I'm a fucking retard who doesn't understand how elections work. You know what I mean? You vote. Sometimes your candidate comes in, sometimes he doesn't. It's called democracy. It's called freedom. That is how our countries operate, motherfuckers. We have the freedom to vote, and it's a beautiful thing. We're not stuck in fucking North Korea being told what to do. But because you dumb fucking savages don't get the results that you want, you want to scream racism. What racism? Impeach Trump, they say. For what? Shouldn't the guy at least get a week as president before you judge him? Shouldn't he at least get to be the leader for a fucking day and a half before you want him to get impeached? Impeached for what? Are you fucking stupid? Obviously you are. Very fucking stupid. You know what I'm saying? In this world, we don't always get what we want there. But you got to make the best of it. 
Hillary Clinton, you might as well vote for the fucking mafia. You guys are pissed off at racism in your country, shit like this. Who was in charge during all this supposed racism? It was Obama, a black guy. Friends with Hillary Clinton. You would have had Hillary Clinton. You would have had the same shit that you apparently didn't like. Why would you want to vote for Obama 2.0 if you're not happy with your fucking country and the way you're living now? If you're not happy with the way you're fucking treated, why are you fucking voting for Obama 2.0? Why? You understand? It makes no fucking sense. Hey, I'm pissed off at the way things work in my country. I'm gonna vote to get the exact same thing that pisses me off. And then when I don't get that, I'm gonna rage and go mental. You people are straight up dumb. Straight up fucking dumb. Maybe Donald Trump is gonna be the best president you've ever had. Who knows? You gotta wait at least a week. At least give him a fucking chance before you can say <laughs> impeach him. Are you? Oh, fuck. You guys are straight up morons. And when I see these people on the streets destroying stuff, beating up people, attacking Trump supporters, I think these people are fucking straight up savages. Straight up morons, savages with no motherfucking intelligence. We're supposed to to be living in the civilized continent here, you know, Canada, the U.S. We're supposed to be civilized countries right here at the top. So how come you're acting like nut jobs from Afghanistan? You look at fucking video footage during the war. Oh, look at all the lunatics in Afghanistan and Iraq going crazy. You're acting exactly like them. Exactly like them. Might as well call yourselves the United States of Afghanistan. That's exactly how you're fucking acting. Okay, over here we lose an election. We don't fucking go crying in the streets looking for attention you know in canada it's you win some you lose some nobody has to go out in the streets hey look at me i'm black nothing against blacks but it's the truth they're going out there hey look at me i'm black i'm a minority of some sort there look at me i want attention I'm upset at Trump. Everybody who disagrees with me is a racist. <laughs> what the fuck happened to your country? What happened to cool Americans there? Like Clint Eastwood. Guys like this. Guys that could kick ass and take names there. Now it's fucking losers. Feminist, weirdo, Black Lives Matter, crying in the fucking streets. Give me attention. I'm too dumb to understand how election works. I'm pissed off. You know, get a fucking life. I mean, really, get a fucking life. You see these people, are they're so fucking stupid. They never had a straight up real argument against Trump to begin with. The man's not racist. It was all bullshit from the beginning. You had nothing. You should be happy that you got somebody else besides Hillary crooked in there. You should be happy you have a real fucking man or a, a real person. Not to insult feminists. You should be happy you have a real person with intelligence. The man has money already. He can't be bought by corporations. That's what Clinton does. She doesn't give a shit about the people. She gives a shit about the money. That's what she cares about. At least Trump isn't going to be bought like that. You know what I'm saying? Get a fucking life. You lost the election, fucking man up, go home and shut your fucking mouth. Get a fucking job, quit crying in the streets because you're desperate for attention. Savages, an embarrassment 
to a civilized country. Straight up, you're a straight up embarrassment. And you make your civilized country look like fucking crap. Grow a fucking set and accept the election, you dumb sons of bitches. Until next time, peace.